Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're going to make the second witch frame hat. This one is going to be a scarecrow. Um, so you'll need a frame and I'll show you what close up what I did to it, but you'll need a frame. Now this is not all Dollar Tree materials, but you could use them. You'll need some burlap. I bought two yards of this beautiful chocolate brown burlap from Joann's. It was like $3.99 a yard back with the upholstery fabric and it was on sale. So I got it for $2.79 a yard. I picked and I bought two yards. I picked up two of these sunflowers to decorate with from Joann's. They were a dollar a piece. And then I bought two kinds of ribbon. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but I love this green color and then the gold polka dots. And this is wired, and I don't think this is wired, but it doesn't say that it's wired. It just says decorative ribbon. It looks more like burlap. So I bought that, and then from the Dollar Tree, I have some Excelsior that I'm leaving in this bag. And then you'll need a hot glue gun glue sticks and scissors good scissors I'm using my sewing scissors for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna show you how to cut burlap if you've never done that before so give me one moment and I'm gonna flip you around all right today I moved you a little bit away from the table or up higher so you can see what I'm doing better. Um, so this is the leftover that I have of this chocolate colored burlap. Oh, I love it. Can't wait to do something different with it. Um, but we'll see. So that's my excess. Put it over, oh, sorry. Put it over there. My tea today is English breakfast. And I have it sitting on my tea warmer. So I've already cut some strips. Now, if you notice here, the turn of my witch's hat, there were two of these bars. I cut them out with my needle snips and you need a good pair of wire cutters. I cut them out and then I bent the hat. And I mean, I just started bending it like that because I want the scarecrow hat to fall down and not be straight up like the witch's hat. So that was the first step that I did. Second was I cut my burlap into strips and I just trimmed, I did them the full, full size of, I think it's like 60 inch wide burlap. I went all the way down to the end and it doesn't matter on the ends if you have some fray or not. On this hat, I'm going to start at the bottom and wrap it going up and around because right up here I feel like it's going to be fiddly. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the burlap here at this juncture right here. So I'm going to lay down my burlap. I want my burlap to go straight, even though the wire frame is not straight. It doesn't really matter if it overlaps, but I want the burlap to kind of go as straight as I can. And then I'm going to draw with the glue gun. I'm going to glue it right onto the piece of wire. Because again, burlap is very open. And if you try to glue it to itself, you're gonna end up probably getting more glue on your work surface. But by putting the glue right on the wire, it'll hold it a little better. But you really want a solid foundation here. And let it dry. So then we're going to just start wrapping the burlap um, around. So I'm going to flip my frame over and I'm going to glue again here because like the other project, you really want a sturdy base. So just a line of hot glue on top of the burlap or on top of the wire frame and then flip your burlap over and just kind of hold it until it's attached, right? There we go. So round one, we're just gonna kind of 
wrap it around. Now this is a little wide, and so I'm trying to um, you know, I want it to take the shape of. So we're gonna do some fussing. Like over here, there's some gapping. I'm just gonna tuck it over. And it's fine. This will be the back. I put some glue and I'm folding it. That's all. You just want it to, to form to the um, frame. And then I'm gluing over here. And I'm going to toss that over because you want it to go pretty taut. And there we go. You see how it's working? And then we will pull it under. And if you wanted to, you could just keep turning it over and over to glue it. But, and you see how these little strings just keep coming? Just pull them out and drop them. It's fine. If you don't want to fuss with this, you can make your burlap thinner, like less wide. But it didn't matter to me. I'm just going to pull it and fold it. And again, I want it to conform. Next time, I'm going to flip it over, though. So I get some bulking on this side as well. But again, this is the back. So we're not too concerned about it. All right. I'm going to put some more glue here. I'm gonna flip it but this time I'm gonna turn the frame over just to kind of see what's happening on the front side and it's fine everything is overlapping um, like that so I'm gonna put a little glue here but it'll tuck it on that side so a little hot glue and it's okay a little hot glue is not gonna hurt anything but I want to go around there. Now this is going to be probably it for this piece. I don't mind just cutting it uneven at that point because this is gonna be on the back and I'm going to just attach it. All right. Now, going up, I am going to break this in half because I want it smaller to go up top. So I'm going to show you how I do it and then I'll fast forward it. Alrighty, we're back. And I'm going to do a nice glue drop there just to hold these two together. I'm starting with the next piece. There we go. Okay. Now, we got to do this bend. And you guys are learning this with me. How about that? We're gonna do. Ooh, let's get that here. We're gonna attach. First of all, we're gonna bend this over. And then I'm gonna put some glue here. On here and on this metal. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing here. I'm putting the glue on the wire frame on this one to attach it to the back. It's gonna slide all around if we don't attach it on the back side. Especially if you want this shape, which we do. So then we flip it back over. I'm gonna go this way. Oops. Hmm. Cause I need this to come up here. Okay. So we're gonna attach it here and here, and in the back, we're gonna do some fun folding again. So we're gonna attach it here, 
in here. And remember, to the metal, to the metal frame. And we want it to just stick. And that's okay that we're gluing it. You just want to use the glue. Same what I'm going to do on the back side is fold it under and attach it on the back like that. Oh, this is going to be perfect. So while the front's drying real quick, I'm, I'm just throwing this over my shoulder. We're going to move this piece back like that. Let me just make sure. Yep, we're still good. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm super excited, guys. And I'm going to put a little touch of glue right here to hold this burlap in place. Hot glue is such a wonderful craft invention. And you don't need a fancy glue gun. I hope you all understand that. Not that this is fancy, but I also have a 99 cent one and it would work just as well. I just wanted one to stand upright when I do my videos. And I just, again, I'm attaching some glue. I'm gonna turn it over. Oh, guys, does that not look cute or what? And again, we're going to put some glue here and here. And I'm just wrapping everything straight around the front. And I'm fixing it up in the back. And I'm going to be putting something up here. I'm going to turn it over. And again, we are going to tack this piece down. Just like that. And it's honestly just wrap and fold, wrap and fold to get around this shape. And on this side, the flipping of this will take care of that. So I don't have to worry about that. But we want more hot glue. And if you saw what I did, I took this tall piece, this long piece, and I made it in half. Okay. I feel like we're doing good here, guys. Now, we want to... I'm not even going to glue it at this point until I get to the back. And I'm just wrapping it and making sure that I have enough connecting points somewhere attached. And I'm trying to do most of my gluing on the back so you won't see it. But now, we're through the little wedgie thing, and we're just going to go up and around the tippity-top of this hat. And I have a whole nother strip, so I'm not worried about um, I'm not worried about running out of ribbon. And the one other material that I forgot to tell you we need is some more pipe cleaners. I don't want to wrap this around here. And I like to pull some of these on the edges to make it look more frayed. All right, now we're going to, and at this point, I'm just gluing the burlap, honestly, to itself. It doesn't need to be, um, just attach it up here. like that and we're gonna let this glue dry I'm not overly worried about this end piece I'd probably just pinch it shut now I have some pipe cleaners and what I'm doing is I'm building like these vertical metal with pipe cleaner and I'm hot gluing them because we're gonna pull some burlap up in between so I'm gonna show you how to do it or how I do it. I'm going under the top of the burlap or the wire and then I'm just twisting it on tight but you don't want to squeeze it shut and then I'm taking this and wrapping it around the center and it doesn't matter how you get it on here you just want it on here to give your burlap something to bubble up through and you'll see when I go to attach it why I'm doing it this way so here we go. Perfect. So it's, it's see how it slides. We're going to avoid the sliding by taking some burlap. I mean some hot glue. 
and just on top of it I'm doing that now while that's drying I took this gold polka dot ribbon I cut some pieces that are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches. I dovetailed the ends and then I cut a pipe cleaner into thirds. I'll fold this in half. What I'm going to do is take the center, squish it together. Now I'm going to come up under it with the pipe cleaner. and twist it off. I want the top showing. So when I'm ready, I'm going to have these to kind of tuck in different places. And I've made so far just a little handful, which also makes a very pretty bow. <laughs> but I made a handful of those. I opened up this green, and this is very burlap. It is not wired. And I have this piece I have a piece of burlap, but it might be too wide. I'm gonna have to fuss with it and see. So I cut it pretty big, but I'm gonna fold it. We're gonna toss it over the end of the table. This is gonna be hard to show you at this level. I'm gonna have to raise you up, so give me a second. All right, I got you risen up, raised, risen. And I started the first little bump, if you will, just to make sure I could get it through. And I can. So, these are dry. They're pretty sturdy, but you want to be gentle. I took my piece of burlap, and this burlap is six inches wide. This piece of brown burlap. And this green ribbon is one and a half inches wide. So I just laid it down the center and it's hanging over the table and I'm letting gravity hold it in place for me. From behind, I'm taking my fingers and I'm just pushing this brown and green together and pulling from that direction to give myself a nice plump bump, if you will. And if you can see that, it just brings it up and it makes it nice and full looking. And then we'll come up over here and do the same thing. And then this one here is the tiny little end that you went up. So I'm gonna flip it around so I can get to this side. You just wanna make sure this piece of green is tucked under. Sorry about my hands in the way. I can't do too much about that. I gotta be able to work. All right, so we have that going that way. We're gonna open up this one here. We just like them fluffy. And it worked perfectly, the amount that I had. So, oops. So that's what it's gonna look like at the bottom. Nice and fluffy. And then I'm gonna take some of these and just tuck them in different places and glue them into place. And as I said, I have one, two, three, four, I have six of them. And you can also, because I left the bottom of the, of the pipe cleaner, I don't even have to glue them to be honest with you. I'm just wrapping it around the metal. Like you want one on one side of the bar and one on the other. And you just twist it on there and it'll stay. And then because this is wired ribbon, you can't see it yet, but I'll show you when you can see better. So if you can see down here the wire frame, I'm just going on either side and twisting it down. Just like that. And then that'll give this some play to let it kind of be where it wants to be. And if I don't like how it's going, like that's not staying well, I'll just drop a piece of glue on the burlap and attach part of the ribbon to the burlap to hold it in place. And again, we'll come up here and kind of do the same thing. And I can make as many of these as I would like, honestly, because 
know. I have the ribbon and I have pipe cleaners and I can make it happen, guys. Oops. So that's in there. And these little thingies that fall at the end, I'll just cut them up. Let's get you down here. The bottom ones, I think, are the ones that are going to be harder and, and not stay upright. Um, but that's okay, too, because I have hot glue. And when you have hot glue, everything will work out. All right. And then we're going to take this and attach a little bit of it to this right there. And just let it kind of look as organic as you can. Okay, I'm going to do... I didn't glue anything while I was gone. I just have this sitting here. This is going to be um, the top embellishment because I think I'm done with the bottom other than some Excelsior to look like, um, you know, what's it gonna look like? Straw, Lori? Straw. Ooh, that guy scared me. There's that. I don't know where my pipe cleaner went. Ah, found it. Oh, and I did switch over to my crafting scissors. So again, now this is not wired, but I'm just doing the same thing. Tucking it in the middle, folding it over, and tightening it up because I would like to have these. I'm going to put the yellow flower up here and I would like to have these around it. Something pretty. So I'm just zhuzhing it. Now you guys see how I do this. I just kind of craft as I go. There we go. And now I would like these green, I think, to be under the gold. So I'm just kind of attaching them together like this. And we're going to glue this in, in place. Um, and then this actually has a clip on the back. So I'm going to put a blob of some glue on here. Just some glue and stick them right there to attach. And while that is happening, and I'm also going to use my clip up under here to kind of hold it in place. So it looks a little messy now, but watch what happens when I go under and clip everybody where it needs to be. Now I have that cute yellow sunflower kind of covering up this bump up here. So I think I want it a little higher before it dries. So I'm gonna go this way, I think. Oops, or not, but I am. I'm gonna unclip that. We're not gonna clip, we're gonna glue, guys, because I wanted to cover the corner bump. So we're going to put a fair amount of glue on this sunflower and attach it right there. Which we like. And then I put a little bit of the Excelsior coming out of the top of the hat and I may tuck some in around, but let me show you what this is going to look like when it's finished. And there's my finished scarecrow hat with the witch's wire frame from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm really happy how it turned out. I think it's going to look super cute on my front door. I did end up adding some more ribbons to the bottom just to give it a little more full look. And I love the little piece of straw coming out of the top. And this is adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed and it was helpful and you have a good one. And I will talk to you later. Bye.